Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between arc welding and gas welding. Arc welding are all such fusion welding processes where an electric arc is employed to supply necessary heat for melting down the intended surfaces of the parent components for coalescence formation. On the other hand, a flame obtained by the combustion of a gaseous fuel with oxygen is employed to supply necessary heat in gas welding processes. Thus, the basic difference between arc welding and gas welding lies with the source of heat, however, their extent of capability and welding quality vary remarkably. So, let's look into the basic differences between arc welding and gas welding in a tabular form. Difference number 1 in arc welding, an electric arc is established to supply necessary heat for fusing the base metals for coalescence formation, whereas, in gas welding, heat is supplied using a flame produced by the chemical combustion of a gaseous fuel with oxygen. Number 2, arc welding processes are applicable to electrically conductive metals only because the base metals are made an electrode for constituting the arc. Whereas, gas welding processes can be applied to electrically conductive and non-conductive metals. Electrical conductivity has no role in gas welding process. Number 3. In arc welding, the parent components must be either grounded or connected to power supply. Whereas, in gas welding, no such electrical connection is desired. Number 4. An electrical power supply is prerequisite for every arc welding process in order to supply necessary current voltage and frequency, but, no such power supply is desired in gas welding. Number 5, in arc welding, shielding of the high temperature arc and hot weld bead is necessary. This shielding can be provided either by disintegrating flux coating available on the electrode, or by external supply of inert gas, but, usually shielding is not provided in gas welding processes. Number 6, no cylinder containing fuel or oxygen is employed. However, cylinders can be utilized to supply shielding gas in few arc welding processes, but not in all arc welding processes, whereas, one cylinder containing gaseous fuel, like acetylene, propylene, hydrogen, propane, etc., and another cylinder containing oxygen are indispensably necessary for any gas welding process. However, no shielding gas is required here. Number 7, in arc welding. The electric arc usually has a narrow cross-sectional area. This helps in reducing widths of weld bead and heat affected zone, whereas, in gas welding, gas flame has comparatively wider cross-sectional area, which results in wider weld bead and heat affected zone. Number 8, in arc welding, arc temperature is very high, the core temperature can exceed 6000 degrees Celsius. So it can virtually melt down any metal, whereas, in gas welding, the flame temperature is usually limited to 3300 degrees Celsius. So it is not suitable for joining metals that have very high melting point. Number 9, high temperature together with narrow arc increases heat density, which, in turn, helps quickly fusing the base metals during arc welding. Thus higher welding speed can be employed that makes arc welding processes more economic and productive, whereas, wider flame and lesser temperature result in less heat density. Accordingly, the rate of heat input per unit area of the base metal surface is low. This makes the gas welding processes time-consuming and uneconomic. Number 10, in arc welding, high heat density also improves fluidity of the molten weld metal. As a result, the molten metal can penetrate deep into the root gap leading to deeper penetration, whereas, weld metal penetration in gas welding processes is limited owing to lack of fluidity of the molten metal. Number 11, arc welding is preferred for joining comparatively thicker components, typically thickness greater than 2.5 mm. Excessive distortion can be observed if applied for thin plates, whereas, gas welding processes can be applied for thin plates as well as for sheet metals. Number 12, the arc cleaning action is inherently obtained in every arc welding process owing to flow of avalanche of electrons. However, the extent of capability varies with welding polarity and the process itself, whereas, no such arc cleaning takes place in gas welding. Thus base metals must be completely clean prior to gas welding for obtaining a reliable defect-free joint. Number 13, arc welding processes cannot be applied for heating, cleaning, cutting, 
etc. Whereas, apart from joining, gas welding processes can be applied for preheating, post heating, heat treatment, gas cutting, metal cleaning, brazing, soldering, etc. And, difference number 14, few arc welding processes include shielded metal arc welding, gas metal arc welding, tungsten inert gas welding, submerged arc welding, and flux core arc welding. Whereas, few gas welding processes include air acetylene gas welding, axiacetylene gas welding, oxypropylene gas welding, oxyhydrogen gas welding.